how you do it in Affinity Photo. You get this this um, pen tool here. You carefully go around the image, uh, zooming in, you holding spacebar and then um, command. Uh, so you go around, cut the whole thing out. Oh God, hang on. So spacebar and minus for uh, zooming out, which doesn't seem to work. I don't know why. Um, no, there, there we are. Uh, so it's spacebar, command and option. You've got to do it in exactly the right order, otherwise it don't work. Um, and oh dear, and spacebar will, um, and the spacebar will will, ha will help you move around the screen. So like this. Um, so yeah, right. Let's just quickly go through and cut it out, and then I'll show you the next step. Looks, yeah, you've got to be quite precise with this you've got to exactly um, press the space bar and then you have to press the command and then you have to press the option you have to be very definite about doing it in an order rather than pressing them together which is a bit odd so right so you've done the cutout that's that all right that's rough um, then you click up here make it a selection um, you go back to the layer, wherever that was there, and click off a little this little icon here that says it's locked. Um, that makes it from a background layer to a floating layer. Then com Command Shift I and delete. And what I did then was select, um, and I inverted the selection. Um, so it should be here somewhere. There you are. Invert pixel selection under select. Um, then file export so, uh yeah and there we are so choose png i'd go for 24 bit png if i were you and then you hit the export button and then it should do it uh, there you could just save that if you wanted but um, so then, um, then you've got uh, a transparent PNG, and the reason and the way you can test that is just drop it into any browser, like you know, Safari or whatever. And there it is, cut out. I don't, I don't know why why it wouldn't work actually. It's funny the number of. I mean, there it is on black. Um, Chrome. Um, shows it on black and and um a safari shows it um in white but yeah so that's uh, the process in an affinity photo right